New numbers now on how many migrants are left at the Del Rio camp. More than 3,800 remain there, even after DHS says more than 1,500 have been expelled back to Haiti. The crisis is spiraling out of control. The White House struggling to give answers on the situation. Has President Biden ever been to the southern border? In his life? Yes. I will have to get look back in my history books. And why doesn't he do that? Uh, why doesn't he go down to Del Rio, Texas and see what's going on? Well, first of all, Peter, I think the situation at the border is the result of a broken system. All of his experiences and his time in office, whether vice president or Senate, uh, inform his approach to issues. Joining us now is Tom Homan, former acting ICE director and Fox News contributor. I have a lot of topics to get to. I first want to play this for you. This is Congressman Carlos Jimenez talking with Secretary Mayorkas yesterday on the numbers. Watch. How many people have been returned? How many people are being detained? And how many people have been dispersed? I would be pleased to um, provide you with specific data subsequent to this hearing. Yesterday, you were asked exactly the same question and you gave exactly the same answer. You think you'd be a little bit better prepared. I work 18 hours a day. OK, so when I returned from yesterday's hearing, I actually focused on mission. Do you think they know the numbers, Tom? They absolutely know the numbers and he's not going to pull the numbers. Look, I was the ICE director. We spent millions of dollars in these databases. As ICE director, all I had to do is make a phone call and say, how many people have we removed since January? And I've had the answer in 15 minutes because the database will spill the information out. For him to say 18 hours I'm working, he's not going to pull the data. It takes, the guy sitting behind him <laughs> is his, his chief of staff. Chief of staff should be calling and I say, I need that number. And then get the number in 20 minutes. This is them hiding the numbers. They're ashamed of the numbers. Mm -hmm. I'll tell you the next move because I've been through this before. They're going to tell ICE, slow roll the release of the Haitians right now because we're under the microscope. So slow, slow, slow roll the release, release. I've been there. That's what they're going to do. But ICE has those numbers, how many they release. Border Patrol knows how many they release. It's a matter of pulling numbers out of the database and a few clicks on the mm -hmm. keyboard. Um, one of the things that's happened is that the envoy uh, to Haiti, he, he has resigned, saying that he gave recommendations that the administration wouldn't accept. Um, and now you have the White House press secretary trying to explain that, you know, they're trying to deal with root causes, but none of this seems to be dealing with the immediate crisis at hand. No, they're trying to change the narrative. So now they're attacking a Border Patrol agent who's on horseback. And let me be clear on that. That horse did exactly how the horse was trained to do. The officer did exactly what he was trained to do. The same way horse patrol in New York City does crowd control. Now, this, this agent has now been put on a beach looking at losing his job because the Democrats are saying he's whipping a black right. man. He didn't whip anybody. He had reins on the horse that you spin to keep people away from him and the horse to protect himself. He gave numerous verbal orders. These people are breaking the law. It's illegal to enter this country as a crime. And this law enforcement officer who's supposed to enforce that law is trying to keep people from entering this country. Mm -hmm. He did his job. If you hear the agent, he yelled at him, you go back, go back. And they refused the commands of a law enforcement officer. Another picture, they said the agent had his hands on somebody on horseback. Well, shame on that agent for doing his job. His job is to arrest people that enter this country illegally. This agent did nothing wrong. And I'm sick and tired of these politicians, whether it's the secretary, the vice president, Jen Psaki, or these members of Congress that want to say this is a racial thing. Not one of them people, not one, have talked about the 8,000 lives Border Patrol agents saved. Not one of them talked about the, the ICE officers that were injured on a removal flight to Haiti because right. they were attacked by the agents. Tom, let not me one jump of them in. talked about the bus driver that was attacked. And, and, and can I just ask you, um, but there will be some news today. Al Sharpton apparently will be making his way to the border, and he says he's going to do an investigation of these horse agents. Well, if they do a fair investigation, the horse agents did exactly what he's trained to do. And, and what really concerns me is the secretary comes out after he says what needs to be investigated when he's on camera in Del Rio, then he gets on the networks like MSC and CNN, how, 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 how insulted he is by this video and how, how this video is very concerning. The, the inspector general who's going to investigate this officer works for the uh, uh, secretary of Homeland Security. So I think the m m water's already been muddied. Are the special agent IG going to go against what the secretary already said? This is unfair to this agent. And this way, morale is so low. Yep. You, you know, I, 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 I just, I'm upset. I wore that uniform. I've done the job. These are patriots. They shouldn't be vilified by Congress. They're trying to change the narrative. And, and plus, they were put in that position with these Haitians because the Biden administration's open border policies. It's, it's insulting to the men and women who wear that uniform. And I just, my heart goes out to them. They're already overworked, overburdened. They're sick. They're going home sick. They're taking the diseases home to their families. And they've saved so many thousands of people. And no one wants to talk about that. 
Well, your passion comes through, and I understand it. Thank you so much, Tom. We'll stay in touch.